Welcome back to another episode of Fishing Stories with Hank. And if you haven't seen our previous episodes, what we do is we pick a bait off the board. Hank specifically will do it. And then I talk about why the bait is on the wall of fame. Uh, each one's got special meaning to me, whether it's because they caught a big fish or because they've got just uh, personal meaning from my childhood. They've all got special meaning. So Hank, let's pick a bait. This guy? Okay. So this is a chartreuse war eagle spinnerbait. You can see it's definitely gone to work. It's pretty loose and wiggly there. Um, this bait was one of the first times I realized that smallmouth bass could be aggressively fished for and that you didn't have to finesse fish. Uh, I went out with this bait and ended up catching, I don't know, I had a, a great day of catching giant smallmouth in super clear water and uh, it just was an eye-opening experience for me. The bait has since been retired and uh, I don't know that I would trust it to land any more fish anyways. Like I said, it's really beaten up and been abused. But uh, if you're looking to catch smallmouth, do not underestimate a spinnerbait. Does not have to be a chartreuse spinnerbait, but just a spinnerbait in general. Smallmouth will love them. Okay, Hank. What else do you got? This guy? Yeah. First one you picked. Ooh. So this is a an original old lazy Ike. And this is just a childhood bait that's got special meaning to me. When I was uh, growing up, my family vacations used to be to the Hayward, Wisconsin area. My dad's favorite bait at the time was a yellow with orange polka dot lazy ike and all he would do is take it and twitch throw it out and twitch it along the bank and i have very fond memories of a child of my dad catching a lot of bass throwing one of these and this was because his worked so well i went and got one and this was the color i picked and i caught a bunch of fish mimicking what he was doing um pretty amazing how many fish we actually caught on a lazy ike you know they still work great to this day. I can't say I throw them really anymore, but this bait specifically is a childhood bait that's got a lot of memory for me. Okay, Hank. This one? We're going to go with this one because we talked about those other ones. So this is a little eddy and this is special because the company is owned by a friend of mine dan palmer they make uh really really good musky baits the eddy series of baits and uh he gave this to me as a gift when he created the little eddy size and uh he catches tons and tons of smallmouth on this it's just a walking the bait style bait and uh it just is one of those things that was given to me as a gift, and I truly appreciate it. They catch a pile of smallmouth on this on Round Lake. If you know the Hayward, Wisconsin area, Round Lake is one of the top smallmouth lakes in the country. This bait will catch you a lot of smallmouth. Okay, Hank. You want to talk about this one? So this, this bait was given to me by uh, my friend Mike Weiss, who is a hardcore fisherman. And this bait is actually one of the original baits that uh, Don Ivino had or brought to this country and uh, was the original prototype for the Lucky Craft Sammy. 
you know these are i think these are back from like the 70s and uh it's just a, a really a rare one-of-a-kind bait that my buddy was able to get a hold of and he bought two he got one for himself and he gave me one it's a really cool bait there's no way i would ever take this out and uh use it because i wouldn't want to ruin it but it's basically a uh, a prototype lucky craft sammy from 40 years ago Okay. We talked about that one. How about this one? So th this is just a funny bait to me. It's just a black jitterbug. Jacob. Uh, the reason it's funny to me is this year at Lake Erie, I was fishing about five miles offshore, fishing a you know a deep reef for smallmouth. And I just looked in the water and this bait was right there, literally just floating by me, five miles offshore on Lake Erie. Uh, not at all, not at all where I thought I'd find a jitterbug. And uh, I just figured I would retire it at that point. He was lost and I'm giving him a home. Hank. How about this one? Yeah. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. So this is one of the uh, original swim jigs that I hand tied myself. Uh, before I got with dirty jigs, I would make swim jigs, tie them myself, you know, and use them. And in this case, uh, this bait won me a couple of tournaments, uh, specifically one. Uh, This, this plaque, it's the Hodag Bassmasters Boom Lake Open. Uh, my buddy Sean Krasitsky and I won that. And this bait, I want to say, caught probably every fish I caught. I don't, I don't recall specifically how many fish we caught, but we had a really good day on the water and won me a trophy, and I retired it at that point. Let's do one more. That's what I said. Okay. The wiggle work? Wiggle work. Wiggle work. Wiggle work. So this is a an original wiggle work. The bill's been broken off. Uh, the, <laughs> this bait, a lot of people are going to laugh at this, but so growing up as a as a boy going up to the northern Wisconsin area, we would fish for bass, but frequently, or at least one or two days on the trip, my dad would be like, let's go fish for muskies. Well, when we went muskie fishing, all we did was tie on a wiggle wart. And uh, we caught a lot of muskies doing that. We caught a lot of bass mixed in as well. But this was, this was the wiggle wart I owned, and this was the one I would throw for muskies and uh, definitely caught some fish on. And then once I broke the bill off of it, I've retired it since then. But I, I, I find it humorous how when we were younger and so much more inexperienced that our, our idea of musky fishing was simply putting on a crankbait. And then we would go fish like deep cabbage. And we were quite successful doing it. Um, but nowadays we've got like musky baits. I mean, we're not talking little crankbaits. We're talking you know, one pound baits. So anyways, I think that wraps up a, another episode of Fishing Stories with Hank. What do you think? Good. He said it was good. So guys, if you liked it, please leave us a comment, leave us a like, subscribe to our channel, and uh, just keep tuning in. We might have some more of these in the future. Click subscribe. He click subscribe, he said.